Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Browse AI to turn any website into an API, which you can then use programmatically. You can follow along using the link to Browse AI provided in the description below. Let's dive in. For this example, let's look at a website with real estate listings. Suppose I wanted to pull all these listings into an application using an API. I've already set up a robot, so let's get started. First, we'll click into the robot, go to the Integrate tab, and before jumping into the API, I want to show you webhooks. I'm using a website called webhook.site, which provides a unique URL to which data can be sent. I'll copy this, go back, and paste it. Then, I'll set it up to trigger when a task is successfully completed and add the new webhook. This will give us a place to send the data while testing the API. Next, click on REST API and then head to the Account API page. If you don't already have an API key, create one by clicking this button. Name it whatever you like. I'll call mine Browse AI Demo and add it. Now, let's return to the Integrate tab and click on API documentation. From here, you can download the Open API specification and use it in an app like Postman. I'll copy all of this, open Postman, and paste it in. Select the first option, Postman Collection, and import it. Once imported, I'll click the little toggle here, and you'll see a Robots folder along with a couple of GET endpoints. To make it easier, I'll type Run Click and duplicate this Run a Robots endpoint, leaving the original intact. I'll rename the duplicate to something more descriptive, like API Demo. Now I'll close this and find the item I just created. When I click in, there are a couple of things I need from Browse AI. First is the robot ID, which I'll copy and paste over here. I'll also give it a description, like Solo Listings. Next, in the Authorization tab, you'll notice that when you import the specification, it automatically uses the first API key you created. If that's not the one you want, you'll need to change it here, but for this demo, the imported key works fine. Now, let's modify the input parameters in the body. I'll go back to Browse AI to retrieve the origin URL, which is one of the necessary parameters. I'll copy and paste that. Next, I'll grab Vancouver Rentals Limits, paste that as well, and set the limit to 10. Let's delete the unnecessary parameter below it. Finally, we'll use the origin URL from Browse AI, copy, paste, and remove the top part. Now we're ready to send this and test it. If we check the History tab for the robot, we can see an entry labeled Created by the API. How long it takes to load depends on the number of tasks and data involved, but once it's ready, you'll see all the data the robot retrieved. Now, let's go to the webhook site where we sent the data, and sure enough, all that same data is there. And that's how you can use Browse AI to turn any website into an API. Don't forget to check the link in the description to try Browse AI for free.